morning all and welcome to a windy Sunday. Um, so giving it a quick blast of primer uh, and run out which is irritating. Um, I'm not sure how much you can see that but I've got some pinholing on the areas that I've done so there we go. There's a good example of one on the, on the back there is a bit of a lip. Uh, let's just spin around a little bit. The sun really shows it actually. And a bit of a come on focus. And a bit of a lip. And some pin holding on the edge there. So uh, a bit more work to do. Get some bright there, get some uh, stuff made up on the on the lip. little bit on the edge and a cut of extra bits that I haven't done anything with at all. Uh, that's just muck. Um, so yeah, before I waste time on it, I'm just going to give it a bit of a blast down, make up a little bit more. I also need some new primer anyway, so yeah, I think I'll make those good now and then disappear off and go and grab some primer. Cool. Interesting day. It just goes to show when you chuck primer on, it does show the bits that you've missed. So uh, I know I'm just going to be chasing errors if I don't do anything about it now. So I'll try and come on focus. There we go. Okay, I'm going to just, yeah, I'll get those sorted because otherwise I'm just going to be chasing errors. Right, so one trip to Halford later. Um, I got some of this knife in party actually. Just oh, missed it. There you go. Just to do the uh, uh, the pinholes. So that's drying. Okay, out there. Quick go over the uh, the cover, which is looking good. And uh, while it's doing it, I'm just doing a coolant flush as well. So back on the bike for a coolant flush. Um, some lovely brightly coloured coolant. But then, look at that. So, so what? It'd been topped up, they hadn't been flushed, I think. So, if you looked at the top of the reservoir, which was up here, uh, that way around, I think. Yeah, that way around. Um, looked fine, um, looked nice and pinky. Uh, and indeed, when I took the cap off and it, <laughs> it spurted out past, um, it was nice and pink. Um, but, there's obviously crud at the bottom of it, so um, I bought a load of water while I was up at Halfords as well. So I'm just going to top it up with water, a little bit of vinegar. I would like to put more in it, but that's all we got. Um, uh, let it slosh around, run it for a few minutes, flush that out, see how it looks. Uh, just while the putty's drying anyway. All right, catch you in a bit. Right, so I'm not doing too bad, apart from the fact it's so fucking windy <sighs> that it's just blowing shit everywhere, which is really annoying. But, yeah, well, it's what you can do. Um, it's looking pretty good, I think. Um, I really wish I had somewhere to spray. I can't do it in the garage, there's too much stuff in there. I can't really do it out here today because it's blowing too hard. But I want to get it done. Really frustratingly, it blew over my bit of cardboard and squished this. So that's going to look a bit shitty now. But I'll let it dry off, give it a rub down, have a couple of coats, see what happens. But yeah, this is really irritating. But ho hum, you do what you can. Right, so I took that cardboard folding over as a bit of divine intervention. So I took a break, let it cure decently, and give it a rub down. And that has gone a lot better. Um, did precisely the same with this. I gave it a rub down with a, uh, I don't know, abrasive sponge, I suppose. It's, it's supposed to be a, a sanding pad, but it's got some abrasion to itself. And then uh, went onto the tank, and that's a lot better. Uh, I think I've probably got one more can 
or one more coat, sorry, uh, out of the can. I'll bang that on and then we'll start doing the uh, high coat stuff, I think. Uh, but actually, not looking too bad. Not looking too bad at all. Cool. Okay, so that's the stuff that I got. ProXL 2K cleaner, cleaner, clear. Um, they are only 200 mil cans, so they are tiny. Um, done purpose thinking where uh, we use one then because uh, obviously you have to activate it and it mixes the hardener with it um, I can get away with using one you know I can't use half a can because uh, once you've activated it it needs to use it um, I'm going to use the other one though because why not but actually it's not bad it's not bad at all and actually that second can is probably going to seal it beautifully but it sprays really well. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll try filming a bit actually in a second, but it does spray really well. I think I had to recover this slightly because of the fluff over. It's getting good too. So let me get the other can. I'll activate it and uh, show a bit of spray. Okay, okay, so that's the second one activated. So it comes with a little, uh, where's it gone? A little like a uh, plastic base on it. Fill that off. And it's got a pin in the bottom. Okay, focus, uh, which you have to pull and twist, so it's the instructions say to actually mix them together. Um, that ring pull comes in the bottom there. Um, the reason it's still there on the first one is because I didn't see it, so I just use an Allen key. But yeah, kind of makes sense as to what it's for. Might be able to actually use one of the zips and the kit. Uh, the zips easier to grab, and you've got thick gloves on. Right, so. I'm shaking this for a while because it does need a good shake, but it really fans out. I don't know how well you can see that going on. It really does fan out nicely. Like a proper airbrush spray. And it does specifically say to crisscross it like that, so it's... Right, I'm now going to do the tank. I'm not going to film that because I need two hands. Uh, yeah, be right back. Okay, so never a good idea to move wet paint, but I'm not sure you can quite see it, but that fleck of green there. Just waited till I finished the top coat, finished the can before it fell on from the tree. So, so windy and getting worse that I brought them in here very carefully and where better rested than uh, on the bike. Um, so what, that stuff, I'm going to be premature here and call it awesome. Um, look at that, that's a little bit mottled because it's wet paint but I'm sure that's going to rub down beautifully. Um, so as my repairs aren't immediately obvious which can only be a good thing Um, yeah, I'm chuffed for that. I'm really chuffed for that. Um, so, what does it say here? Where's the camera? Drying time 30 to 60 minutes. It can be mechanically polished after 24 hours. Look at that. Um, yeah, that's me for the day. I'm really quite chuffed, bearing in mind conditions are freaking awful. Um, I haven't really got anywhere to spray. Uh, I have got a little cupboard that I was using that I filmed in last night that um, overnight the tank took a dive, hit an empty can or hit an old um, oil that I've managed not managed to get rid of because of COVID and anything else. It's in a milk bottle and goosed it completely uh, and sprayed it all over the floor. So I've got all that to tidy up. That's, uh, it's not really big enough to do a tank, but it's big enough to do the other bits that I've done so far but I really don't have the facilities for it. 100% um, hindsight, I probably should have stripped the, all the bikes out of the garage and done it in here. But hindsight's a wonderful thing. Um, yeah, I'm chuffed for that. I'm gonna leave that for uh, at least 24 hours, probably 48, and let it do whatever it's doing. Um, and then uh, uh, have a look up as to whether or not I just um, I bought some rubbing compound uh, while I was up at Halfords. Uh, whether or not I just rubbing help, help, um, uh, rubbing compound it, or whether or not I give it a bit of a thousand uh, 
down first, but no, I'm really quite chuffed with how that looks so far. Just going to have to see how it works out beyond there. It's not perfect, nothing I ever do will be perfect, but that's pretty good. Cool. Uh, catch you later, everyone. Cheers. Got to tidy up now.